Florida's role in the 2024 election. The Kamala Harris campaign now listing a handful of swing states vital to their success, but Florida was not on that list. And our Capitol reporter for Saunders now has a look at the role the Sunshine State could still play. Vice President Kamala Harris in Indiana Wednesday to buoy support from black voters as time runs out. With your support, I am fighting for our nation's future. It comes as her rebooted campaign details a, quote, path to victory in this memo. Chair Jen O'Malley Dillon highlighting 126 million raised since Sunday, 100,000 new volunteers, and a look at their game map. On it, Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Georgia, Arizona, and Nevada, the main focus. Quote, we intend to play offense in each of these states and have the resources and campaign infrastructure to do so. But Florida, no mention at all. Florida is in play. Florida is a state that Joe Biden is investing in, he is competing in. The campaign told us that a month ago, trying to reassure Florida Democrats it was going to invest here. And now, with Harris likely to top the ticket, the rhetoric isn't letting up. Despite the memo snuff, Florida Democrats chair Nikki Freed out with an op-ed in the Miami Herald on Wednesday touting renewed hope for a blue Florida victory this November and saying this Monday. Vice President Harris keeps Florida in play. Many polls show Vice President Harris beating Trump in her own right in leading the race among independents. And in a state like Florida, that is very important. Harris campaign officials also highlighted Florida enthusiasm in a note to us, touting 94 percent of the state party's delegates have already endorsed her and saying it had the largest week of volunteer recruitment in Florida ever, with more than 5,600 new signups since Sunday. Clearly, we wanted to run against Biden. It all comes as Florida Republicans, like the governor, dismiss the Harris hat change. Governor Ron DeSantis saying her record will haunt her, border security and beyond. If you go back and watch her statements for when she was running for president in the 2020 cycle, I mean, she basically said, have an open border. She wants taxpayer funded health care and benefits for illegal aliens. The Harris team considers those claims gross mischaracterizations of the truth, but it's a taste of the forthcoming battle over her candidacy nationally and right here in Florida. In Tallahassee, Forrest Saunders, ABC Action News.